Hey guys, welcome to Pixel and Bracket. I'm Spencer, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to add a gradient to editable text in Adobe Photoshop. We need two layers here. Now, I've got a black background layer. I need to add a type layer, and I also need to add a layer that includes my gradient. So the first thing I'm gonna do is select my type tool and click on my canvas, and that's gonna go ahead and add that type layer. And we'll just type in some editable text here. I hit escape to cancel out of that and I'm going to hit V to select the move tool. Command T is going to let me transform this text and I'm going to scale up from the center by holding shift and option and just create a little bit bigger text here. Now to commit that go ahead and hit enter and I'm going to center it up by selecting all command A and as long as I have the move tool selected, my alignment tools will show up top here and the center of each of these is, is centering. This is going to center on the horizontal axis. This will center on the vertical axis. And I'm going to deselect everything with command D. And we've got our text layer. In this text layer, we can still edit this text. So I'm going to now add a new layer down here at the bottom. and. This is going to be our gradient layer. So we got to add a gradient to it. I'm going to select the gradient tool, which is also G. But you'll notice if I click and hold this, G is also the shortcut key for paint bucket, 3D material. So let's say you used paint bucket last. You can actually hold shift and keep clicking G. You can toggle through the different tools. So we're going to land on the gradient tool here. Up here, I'm going to select a gradient. I can also create a gradient if I double click that I can uh, edit you know and create my own variation of this of this gradient I can select the colors that are included in it and I can select where those colors hit what opacity they're gonna have but I'm just gonna pick one of these uh, generic gradients that are already created we'll go with this orange to yellow back to orange gradient I'm gonna hit OK and all I need to do is click and drag and that's gonna create a gradient on my document on this layer right here all I need to do now is create a clipping mask I'm gonna do that by holding option and clicking between my gradient layer and my text layer and you'll notice now that that gradient is kept within the bounds of whatever our text is so we can edit this text and we can actually go back to our gradient and I could take that gradient command T I can rotate it I can come in here and select the gradient tool again and, and change how that gradient, the gradient shows up. Uh, I can select a different gradient and throw that one in there. I hope you guys learned something. Uh, I, I know I went through a lot of things very quickly. If you guys liked what you saw, hit that subscribe button for more tips and tutorials and also check out some of these other videos.